the largest social networking site in the world, giving users lots of new ways to express themselves. Harris Faulkner has the details from our New York City newsroom. Harris? Hey, Heather. The goal here is to give people more options than just male or female when it comes to identifying themselves. So now you'll have some 50 different terms available to users, such as androgynous, bigender, intersex, gender fluid, transsexual. A Facebook executive says this about it. It's to allow people to be able to express their genuine, authentic selves on the site, and we want them to express their whole selves. We want to make that available for everyone we possibly can. And everyone for Facebook at this point would be the 159 million users. The social site says 1% of them check the box for other in their profile at this point. Now they'll be able to use those options that they'll see already in the United States pretty quickly. And the plan is to roll it out globally next. And what's driving the change? Well, maybe statistics like this one. One California think tank estimates about 700,000 people in the U.S. identify as transgender, a blanket term which some suggest has now grown to encompass a wide variety of gender identities. Members of the LGBT community say it's a significant step forward in gender equality. Back to you. All right. Harris Faulkner joining us from the newsroom. Thank you. John